welcome to the Module 3 Lab. And in this brief tutorial, we're going to show you how to create um, two whole features from dimensions and a single pocket feature from a curve. And uh, looking at the instructions that are provided uh, in your lesson material for this lab, you'll see that step number one is to open feature cam and load the pocket block part file previously created for lab two pocket block curves and once you've done that you'll see the part that's on the screen and we're going to begin by creating two hole features using the following dimensions the finished hole diameter will be 0.250 and a depth of one inch and each of the holes will be located at the centers of the circles that are shown in the lower left and the lower right hand corner of the part so let's begin by selecting features we're creating a hole from a dimension, so we'll select Next. And again, the depth of our hole is 1 inch and the diameter is 0.25. And this just happens to be the values that are loaded in these two fields. So, um, so we're good here and we can proceed. Click Next. And now we're prompted for the location of our hole. So I'm going to select this location rather than manually plugging the numbers into the XYZ uh, fields. and so what I'll do is select the pick location icon and I'm going to select the center of the circle and I note that I'm using the snap to center snap mode and you'll see that my hole shows up in the center of the circle that's provided and from here I can I can select next and now I'm prompted for the strategies and I'll go with the defaults that are listed and I'll hit finish and there's my whole feature properties window and I'm good with that and I've successfully created the hole in the center of the circle on the left. Let's do the same operation to create the same uh, size hole in the center of the circle that's on the right. So again, from dimensions, we're selecting hole radio button. Next, these dimensions will stay the same for diameter and depth. And we will pick the center of the hole on the right. Select Next. There's our strategies. We finish. And we have the spot drill and the drill operations in the whole feature properties window and all the information that's associated with the hole on the right. So we select OK. And now we've successfully created two holes from dimensions. Now what we need to do is create a pocket from a curve and we're going to use the curve that's defined here for the triangular pocket so let's go features and we're going to create a pocket from a curve so we'll select that particular radio button and then we'll select next and now we're prompted to select the curve that we'll be creating the pocket from so we select on pick curve and we highlight curve 3 select OK hit next and now we have our pocket being reflected on the part from here we select next again and our pocket depth you'll note from step 3 is to be 0.5 or half of an inch and wouldn't you know that set already for the depth by the default is 0.5 of an inch 500,000 so we'll select next there's our strategies and we'll go with the defaults select finish we get our pocket properties window that opens. We've got a roughing and a finishing pass, and we'll accept it. Hit OK. And now what we want to do is use the view menu to switch to the isometric view. And once we've done that, we can run the 3D simulation. We'll select 3D simulation in the simulation toolbar. Hit play. And watch our part be machined and uh, now that once we've validated this and uh, everything looks good um, what we want to do is go ahead and save the part per the instructions that are provided in step six and turn the part in to your instructor per step seven 